<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Trucks and Tractors. Somebody, I'm not naming names, somebody may have gotten our vehicle buried off the driveway. <sighs> okay, maybe it wasn't Dawn. We'll just leave it at that, it wasn't Dawn. So we're three hours from home and the roads were very icy on the way down. <laughs> like literally a sheet of ice. So Dawn's been really sick the last like week. Um, she's sick, Gage is sick. They're both sleeping in the house right now. So one thing that a lot of people have asked in the comments that I haven't really mentioned on, um, yes. So we did buy a truck. We bought a truck about maybe a month ago. Um, it's a used truck. It's fantastic actually. Um, it's a 2015 uh, half ton GMC Sierra, right? So it's basically a basically a Chevy half ton truck. Um, it's really nice. It does seat all of our all of our kids. Everybody fits in it. Um, it has three seats in front, three seats in back. Um, somehow. Somebody, somebody may have already uh, busted the tail light out of it. That happened the other day. I, I uh, start. I, uh, I may have hit our mailbox with it. Does anyone else see a trend here? Anyone? So the truck has a hundred thousand miles on it. It is a half ton four wheel drive. Um, and I'm gonna go and see if I can pull our Yukon out with it. Hopefully not break anything on either vehicle. Hmm, looks like somebody was playing. Oh man, I just got bursted with snow in the face. Oh man, you gotta love winter time. Anyone else live in the winter time and when your vehicle's covered in snow, it does that? It just flies inside. Anyway, we were going for this. So I don't have a tow strap in here. I know I have a tow strap somewhere, but I'm gonna try and use a ratchet strap. Cause I'm not planning on pulling super hard. Yeah, so I also scraped the box up when I did that. That was, that was an exciting moment. I'm also just gonna hook it to here. See if I can't just pull a little bit on it. All right. Probably help if I grab the keys. They're in the house. Alright. Okay. So the keys were in the house. That was my bad. So my plan is to just put it. Actually, I'll try and back it up a little bit, but my plan is to put it in neutral, see if I can pull it with the truck at all, or if I have to get Dawn. I really don't want to go get Dawn. I'm out of breath. I'm not in the greatest shape. I don't want to go get Dawn because she's asleep right now. So, we'll see if this works. Neutral we go. Does anybody else's, anybody else get themselves in these situations? All right, four wheel drive. Huh. For some reason I didn't think that was gonna work. All 
I don't want to be really hard on it because I don't want to break either vehicle. Probably took my traction control off. That was silly to have that on. And here we go. I also don't want to bend my hooks on either vehicle either. I did pull it out some. It was up here so I got it back there. I bet we can back out now. Oh, nope, not backing out of that yet. Uh, tracks to throw off of this thing too would probably help. Alright, it looks like we gotta try again. Let me out. Alright, let's see if we can... Not my proudest moment, but we did it. Got it out. Ah, that might have bent a little bit. Not a lot. Um, and that one might be bent just a hair. Not a lot either. All right. Okay. All right, so I drove this up to the garage. I can hear something scraping underneath here. What is going on? Oh, there it is. That is my post. Oh, it didn't even break it. Ah! I'm surprised that's not busted. I usually break them. Not usually, but I break them if they break. So what I've been doing all week is uh, working on a camper. You guys met the camper last week. Well, we found uh, we found some surprises with the camper. Uh, Dawn's gonna release a video either later today or tomorrow morning about the camper so go over to her channel check out the camper and everything that's going on with that thanks for watching bye bye